welcome back to Your Tasty Life TV. In this episode, we have a special guest, Lisa Moore with lisamore.com. Thank you so much for being with us, Lisa. Thank you for having me, Lisa. It's great to be here. We should Lisa, Lisa. I know. At least Lisa in the cult jam today. I don't know. So in this episode, I'm so glad to have Lisa because she's an expert in the positive space. She's a thought leader, and she does a lot of work with the law of attraction. And when I work with clients a lot, Lisa, I'll have women who are trying to do the right thing. You know, I kind of explain they're like the superwoman, right? So they're the best wife. They're the best parent. They're doing all these things, juggling all these balls. And at the end of the day, they take no time for themselves. They have no self-care, et cetera. What, what are your takes on kind of being wired and tired and fried and not taking care of yourself? What have you seen in your space? Uh, I have definitely, I would say, over the course of my own life, personally, my values and my beliefs have changed a lot about self-care. I used to be that woman that punched in at work and punched out and punched in again at home. And I've kind of described it that there are four primary pillars in your life. There's career, there's your relationship, there's your family, and there's play. And you need to allocate energy to each of those pillars. And a lot of people build their relationships around their career, and other people build their career around their relationships. And what happens is, I, I know especially as women, we're eager to do it all, and we're not that good about asking for help. Maybe we hint mm -hmm. at it, we're not even clear about how to ask for help. Absolutely, and I love that you said play. Mm -hmm. That was one of the pillars, because how often, I'm sure you've run into this too, I'll be working with a, a woman, a client, and they're like, uh, they're just so overwhelmed, and I'll throw the question at them, what do you do for fun? And it's this blank stare. Fun costs money. Fun costs time. I have no time, right? Yeah, it's either time or money. And, uh, you know, and, and, and the thing is, is we're the architects of our life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you need a light, I just read this on, on Facebook. If you feel you need a vacation from your life, maybe you should build a life you don't need a vacation from. Ooh, that's a good one. Isn't I it? I love that. Isn't it? For sure. So let's talk about, um, Lisa, you have a book out, The Bottom Feeders. Eliminate right? Bottom Feeders. Yes, okay. ex attract extraordinary people. And talk a little bit about that. What is a bottom feeder? You know them. They're the energy sucks, the drainers, the people that you put a bunch of energy into. And on a 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the worst, they never really exceed 5. And you exhaust yourself mm. trying to fix these people all the time. Most of us have the worst I ever saw. I ask 0 to 5, 5 to 10. Somebody raise their hand with 30 plus bottom oh feeders gosh. in their life. Not healthy. Yeah. So I'm trying to live a healthier lifestyle. And I have a husband who might be a bottom feeder. How do I handle that? Because I hear a lot from women I'm working with, well, I would like to do this, but my husband won't eat that or he doesn't support me. And I know this is a loaded gun question. Oh, like, I'm recently divorced. You probably shouldn't ask me that. Well, that's question. why I'm asking you. I knew that coming in as that she was. So I want to get this honest opinion um, out of her. Yeah, I don't have that problem anymore. And I'm, <laughs> I'm more youthful and I laugh mm -hmm. and my shoulders are relaxed and I'm capable of loving more and I don't have resentment in my life. And my gosh, I live each day like it's a vacation so um that is a very that a big, that that. Is a big one yeah i think that you need to take a look at communication and therapy and asking for your needs and recognizing if the person you're with is going to change or not bottom line bottom feeders affect your health mm -hmm. they shorten your life yeah they cause stress and that stress is what shortens your life from disease and headaches and eventually cancer. So, uh, yeah, it's your choice. Being around people changes the way you feel inside when you're around either happy people that bring you light. You can tell Lisa's a radiant person. Her aura is bright. She brings energy to every room that she's in. You know the people that don't. You can tell the second they walk in or worse yet, the phone rings when you're exhausted. And guess who it is? Yeah. It's your body. Yeah, those are the people you let go to your voicemail and, yeah, I'm kind like of... Why? Why are they calling right now? I have nothing left to give. They're calling because you attracted them because you have nothing left to give. <laughs> All right, Lisa. So while I have you, one last question yes. for you. What would you say to the Your Tasty Life uh, viewers here on a technique or a strategy that you have found helpful to adding more bliss to your life? Oh, there's so many. Meditation is huge. Uh, music is huge. Singing. I started taking voice lessons, oh, and nice. it immediately alters my frequency. Hugs, touch, animals, oh, walks that. outside, nature. Wonderful. All these are daily habits that you can be the architect and create in your life, and you will absolutely have a more fulfilling, more in the present, more nourishing experience in your world. 
right. Well, thank you so much for being here, Lisa. Thanks for having where, me. Where can our viewers learn some more? Uh, LisaMoore.com has a whole bunch of information. And of course, Lisa Moore TV has a plethora of videos on self-help in a myriad of categories. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.